Hi, I'm Jason with scienceandmath.com. In today's experiment, what we're going to do is learn how to use a piece of string to lift an ice cube out of a glass of water without tying that string to the ice cube at all. And it's very simple. And if you do it in the right way to your friends or to your parents or somebody like that, then you can actually have a lot of fun with it because there's really kind of a wow factor to this, to this little very simple experiment. All you will need for this experiment is a piece of string, any type of string will do. You need some regular ice cubes, you need a glass of water, and you need regular old table salt. So nothing more fancy than that. It's all things that you have usually in your house right away. So let me go ahead and put my safety glasses on. There's, there's nothing too dangerous here really, but we want to just be uh, getting in good habits. What you want to do is take your salt and kind of keep it out of sight. You don't want whoever you're showing this to, to see the salt. It's kind of a little bit of the mystery here. So let's go ahead and take our, take our uh, string and put it to the side. The way you want to do this, the way you want to set this experiment up, basically, is you want to have a glass of water. It's just regular tap water, and you can even actually fill the glass with water directly in front of the people that you're doing this for, just so they know that there's no tricks and there's nothing going on, no funny business, so to speak. What you want to do is basically take your glass of water and keep it separate from the ice and right in front of the people you're doing this for, just take a regular ice cube and drop it in the glass of water. Now you can actually put a few pieces of ice in there if you want, but just for the, for the sake of this demonstration, I'll just use one piece. It'll be a little easier to see what's happening. And what you do is you approach the people and you say, I bet you that I can take this ice cube out of that glass of water with this piece of string and I will not touch that piece of ice with my fingers at all. Because most people, when they see this, they'll say, well, he's going to tie the string to it. He's going to do something like that. But you tell them, no, no, I'm not going to touch that ice at all. I'm going to use this string. I'm going to take that ice out of the water, and I'm not going to touch that piece of ice. Most people will say, that's impossible. You can't do that. And you'll say, watch me. So what you'll do then is out of your back pocket, you'll pull out some table salt. And this is sort of the secret ingredient to make this work. So what you'll do first, though, is what you need to do is lay this piece of string across the top of the ice. It doesn't matter exactly how it's done, but you did promise that you wouldn't touch the ice with your fingers, so you don't, you don't want to touch the ice with your fingers. So just kind of lay it across the top, much like I have it here, right? Obviously, you're not going to be able to do anything with it. You're not going to be able to pull the ice out now, but then what you do is you sprinkle the salt right on top, like that. That's all you need, and you count to 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and then carefully and gently you lift this ice cube out of the water. And that's it. This ice cube has frozen itself. Whoops, there it fell off there a little bit at the end there, but it lifted itself out of the water. Let's do it one more time just to kind of show you how to do the, the whole thing. We'll put a few more ice cubes in just kind of give it some variety. So now that you know how to do it, just lay, lay the, the string. You can actually coil it up even. It's a little bit better sometimes. Just lay it across there and then goose it really good. Everywhere where the string is touching an ice cube, you, you hit it and you count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And it's like going fishing. You just see what you get in the end. Sometimes you get lucky, like this, and on the bottom one there, we didn't quite manage that one, but here we did uh, lift that guy out. So that's a pretty amazing trick, right? You're able to lift, and it's frozen. It's frozen solid to this guy. So how does that work? I mean, if you don't use the salt, obviously it doesn't work at all. If you just take a piece of ice in there, there's no salt, you can hold it there all day, it's not gonna refreeze to the string. So obviously the salt has something to do with it. How does it work? Okay, when you put salt, regular old table salt, on ice, it has an amazing effect, a really amazing effect. What it does is it changes the freezing point of the ice. And the reason that it does that is kind of beyond the scope of this video. It's, it's deep into the, to the way that ice is formed. But the bottom line is that if you think about ice, what is ice? It's frozen water, right? So if you take water and you put it in a freezer, and you lower the temperature to the freezing point, which is zero degrees Celsius, or you can also talk about Fahrenheit, 32 degrees Fahrenheit, then once you reach that zero degrees Celsius, then it's going to crystallize and form the solid that we call ice that we see every day, right? Okay, now the, the deal is, is that whenever you put that, that salt on the ice, then at that moment, at the 
at the point where the salt touches the ice surface, the melting point or the freezing point of the ice is no longer zero Celsius anymore. It's lower than that. You've lowered the melting point. And again, the reason why is, is in deep in the reasons of how well ice is formed and the interaction with the salt and all that, but you've changed the freezing point. So to use my hands to gesture a little bit, let's say this is zero degrees Celsius. So here we have some water. It's warmer than that because we just put it in the freezer. The freezer cools off the ice. It gets to zero degrees Celsius where my hand is. Suddenly it forms ice cubes, all right? Now, if we put uh, salt on this ice, we lower the freezing point even more. So suddenly that ice is not cold enough to be frozen anymore right when we put the salt on there. So what happens is when you put salt on ice, the net effect of it is the ice melts right at the portions and right at the point where the uh, salt crystals touch the ice. It actually melts. If you could get a microscope and look at this ice right at the moment when I put the salt on it, you would see the very top layer of that ice gently begins to melt. What happens is we put the salt on top of the string and it melts the ice gently around that piece of string and it dissolves, that salt dissolves into the little bit of water that's on top of the ice cube right there when you, when you sprinkle the ice on. After a few minutes or after a few seconds, that water dissolves that, that uh, salt that you put on there and it kind of runs off of the ice cube into the glass of water. So the salt is kind of carried away after a few seconds. And so the ice cube that's underneath it is still pretty cold and it can refreeze the, the liquid water on top around uh, that string and that is what allows you to lift it up. So the bottom line is when you put the string on there and you put the salt on there, the only thing the salt does is really just gently melt a very small amount of that ice on top. The salt is then carried away by the liquid water and then that remaining water that's left over is allowed to refreeze from the from the cold nature of the ice cube underneath. It gently refreezes just enough around that piece of string so that you can lift it up. Very simple experiment, but it illustrates something very important, and that is that salt has the ability basically to melt ice. So if you live in a cold environment, you might notice that on bridges, when it gets winter time and the bridges are iced over, you'll see the trucks out there and they'll be putting the salt on the side of the road. The reason they're doing that is when you put salt on ice, what does it do? It lowers the freezing point. So if it's hovering right around freezing outside, just icing over your bridges, if you go salt your bridges, suddenly at those places on the bridge, ice cannot form at zero degrees Celsius. It takes it a little bit colder temperatures to form that ice. So if your weather pattern is hovering around freezing temperatures and you put ice on the bridge, you should be able to prevent the ice from forming by putting the salt on the bridge there. And so that's why we do that. I'm Jason with scienceandmath.com. I hope you've enjoyed this. Go get these materials. It takes five minutes. It's actually really neat, and I think you'll find that if you show other people this guy, most people will not know how you're going to do it until you show them how to do it. It's a little bit of science uh, here in everyday life that we can use to kind of uh, have a little bit of a wow factor and impress people.